All right, so I've got the partial pressure of hydrogens. I've got the concentration of H plus from pH. And I want to know that concentration. Uh, and I'm given a measured voltage of 0.92 volt. What is that? That's my potential, E squiggly. It's not the standard. You don't measure standards in lab. You measure uh, the non-standards. Now, this can also be calculated, theoretical, but in this case, it's measured. So it could be either. So they give you that. Um, and so they want to know this concentration. This has to be a Nernst equation because it's mixing concentration in E. And there's no other equation that would fit besides this one. E equals the standard potential minus 0, 0.0. And this would be on the back of the exam. Okay. Oh, and I, I didn't show you where I got this reaction. Are you okay with this reaction? Okay. It's just the oxidation plus reduction. All right. So let's see what we have here. We've got this one. It's 0.92. We've got N, and it's not shown in this, but when you add the oxidation reduction, there's two electrons that cancel. So this is going to be 2. E standard, um, let's see. E standard was from the previous part of the problem. What we have is a mixture of this hydrogen, uh, he, uh, not hydrogen, mercury reaction, and they tell us at 0.27 volts. And it's mixed with a standard hydrogen electrode, which you should know is zero volts. So from the previous part of the problem, you know that it's positive 0.27. Okay. So basically, you're solving for Q. That's the only thing you don't know. And you're not solving for Q in particular. You're solving for something inside of Q. So let's write down Q first and see what it is. Products over reactants. And you don't include liquids or solids. So it's a concentration of Cl minus squared times a concentration of H plus squared. And now here's where it gets a little funny. We are OK with mixing partial pressures and concentrations. Basically, the problem is set up for you to do so. Really, this is done in activities. So it would be the activity of everything. but. It's naturally being normalized here, though we're not doing it by the one atmosphere and one molar. So, so really, that's why we're allowed to mix it up. Uh, in previous class, we made you change pressures and concentrations, vice versa. These problems are set up, so you don't have to do that. Okay. So, uh, you want to find Q? There's well. Let me just plug in what well, we don't know, Cl minus squared. We know H plus, it's uh, 10 to the minus 4.15 squared. And we know this, it's 1. So really, this is uh, Cl minus squared, 10 to the minus, uh, really, when you bring in the square, you multiply the 2. So that would be 2 times, that's a negative 8.3 uh, divided by 1. So, is that okay? Okay, so everything, this is only unknown. Uh, would you like me to mathematically kind of rearrange this equation? Or? Okay, so now I've got to solve, this is, this is a mess. So uh, this would be E minus E standard equals minus 0 0.592 divided by n log of q. So just moving things around. Now I'm going to divide through the n and point 0. Oh, I forgot a 0 here. 0, 0.592. Uh, the, so the log of q is going to equal uh, e minus e standard times n over 0 0.0592, and that's a negative. So I'm just rearranging things a bit. I'm going to have to erase the top. I can't Let's fit it in the space. OK, 
Now, uh, I'm going to get rid of the log. So I have to raise that to the 10. Q equals uh, 10 raised to uh, negative E minus E standard over N, uh, no, times N, by 0 0.0552. And that uh, equals, uh, where is it? CL minus squared times 10 to the negative 8.3. Okay, now <laughs> I have to get that 10 over there and take the square root. So this is, uh, I'll just put CL minus equals, and you can do it other ways, it's just the way that's coming to me first. Uh, 10 to the positive 8.3 times 10 raised to, uh, and I'll put in numbers now, uh, E, I need a new chop, it's too short, E is uh, 0 0.92 minus 0 0.27 over N, which is, oh, times N, which is 2, over 0 0.0592, closed, yeah, and then I have to take the square root of this. Cool, that's your answer. Does that work for you? You could have plugged in more numbers, but I didn't have a calculator to make it a little simpler looking as we went on. Or solved it a different way. I did it a different way when I did it in class, so whatever way you prefer is fine. <laughs>